Yesterday this day's madness did prepare. Tomorrow's silence, triumph or despair. Drink, for you know not whence you came nor why. Drink, for you know not why you go nor where. The favorite verse of my grandfather's father. The last words he ever spoke and the finest stanza in my repertoire. The rest of which is just dirty limerick. <laughs> oh. Well, look who has joined us in the land of the living. Now. I took it upon myself to add everything you kindly neglected to pay for earlier onto your tab, which, I might remind you, does not get cleared despite you being AWOL. So tell me, Lex, should I say goodbye or congratulations? Oh, what? You heard me. Goodbye or congratulations. Don't talk in riddles, Walt. Why would you say either? Well... There are two boys in red standing behind you, looking none too happy. And I get the impression they're either here to kick your ass or give you a medal. Ugh. They wanted me to go and see Galena earlier. <laughs> Guess I ended up here instead. Galena? <laughs> You're serious? Well, yes, I can see after your little hiatus, my company would be preferred over that tight slice of royalty. <laughs> Now, of course, I'm... I mean, I'm not questioning your debonair comportment, Lex. But why in the name of Athos Finest would you not be up there scenting it out? <laughs> it's not like that, Walt. All I've been told is it's something of utmost importance. So what makes you think it's not like that? We well, never know. Perhaps the dirty piece considers hitching up a skirt of utmost importance? <laughs> On, Lex. We both know you don't exactly make friends too easily. It'll just be another job. It's always just another job. Just another job? If they wanted to give you just another job, that coward Lewis would have chased you. No. No. This has got to be something big. And by the look of your friends there, Lex, I don't think you'll be skipping your appointment this time. Look, I'll be back with a piece of paper. Written on the paper will be a name, and in my pocket will be a few more talents than I have right now. Always just another stinking job. Ah, you've been getting into the whoring trade, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> I should be so lucky.
Thank you for coming. I was expecting you earlier. Miss? You must be wondering why I asked you here. Lex, I, I wanted to speak to you in person about a new contract. I understand you do freelance work for Lewis on occasion? Yeah, well, he gives me a name and a place. I bring them back, pass on a message, or... Y yes, time is short, so I'll get to the point. Lex, I know what we need to do to return day and night to normal and restore Helium. But I need your help. Well, that's different. Yes, I suppose it is. Ever since Lucasen divided day and night 150 years ago, we've tried to rejoin them. But no one has ever come close because basically, th there's nothing we could do. But with Lucasen and the tainted Lithan gone, and day and night restored, the Athen people could leave the Citadel safely to re-establish the quarries and farms. Things would be better. Lex, I know all about you. I believe you can help us. <sighs> what are you thinking about? Look, lady. You're asking for my help in something that just isn't possible. Yeah, okay, I can go to night and back, but rejoining them? <laughs> Come on. That's just a fairy tale. Lex, I know how we can do it. Fix everything. And how we can bring about the end. Well, this... <laughs> Is that right? Are you gonna fix these scars, too? How about getting this tainted blood out of my veins? Let's not forget the reason why you had to send for me from outside the walls of Atha. Why should I help you people? Well, I mean... This wouldn't just help the Athens, it would help you too. <sighs> right. Okay. Before I go, I'm curious about how you actually thought you could undo the rift. Lucasen's in a far better position than you. We know that Lucasen created the rift and sends the tainted Lithan from within the Twilight Realm. So we believe that it could all be undone from within the Twilight Realm too. By killing Lucasen. Right. Goodbye. Lex. Lex, wait. I, I know this all sounds crazy, but please listen. Do you think what Lucasen did was unjustified? Listen. You can't get into the Twilight Realm. No one can. Well, no, not yet, but with your help we have a chance to say what's left. Please. How? The three other Aether Cores throughout Helium. Ceylon, Nevalor, and the Helium Sea. I know of them. You don't expect to get them back, do you? No. We need to destroy them. You need to destroy your only hope of mining more ether. Well, I'm trying to think of it as creating our only hope of anything at all. You know better than anyone that ether has properties we can barely begin to understand. The monument of the majestic Lithon down there is dying, and you know what it prevents. Hmm. I believe the ether cores are linchpins. By destroying them, we can get beneath the surface. Into the Twilight Realm. Yes, into the Twilight Realm. <laughs> That's a pretty big assumption you're making. And if you're wrong, you'll have destroyed more than just the ether cores. Yes, that's all I can think about. But I know this is what we need to do. Please. <sighs> well, look. This is bigger than any job so far. I'll do it, but not because I care at all about any of you. If you're wrong, then... <laughs> Well, that'll be just as interesting for me as if you're right. Four thousand talents, an unlimited- Four thousand talents, an unlimited clearance to the network for life. After this, you'll never need to work for Lewis again. Good. So it's done then. A moment before you arrived, a train departed for the Ceylon Mountain. Lewis and the rest of the Council know of the plan, and he has been sending members of the Guard. But I'm worried that's futile and reckless. Here, give this to the Guards at the Network Station. Just. Come back here when you return from Sela. And thank you, Lex, for, for helping us. <laughs> Let's hope for your sake that help is what this is.
Corruption, filth outside. Corruption, who has sinned? The bringers of evil denounce the living name. Traitors, nothing out there for us. What hope do we have? Base two, double or nothing.
that's what I don't get. Since when have we started going back to Salon? Since Lewis, uh, sorry, the Sheriff, has decided we are. What does he expect we can do there? Keep the tainted fed so they stay away a bit longer? <sighs> I wish I was the one sitting behind a desk, sending obedient saps to their death because I'm too yellow to do something useful for a change. You know what he said to them before they left? Didn't even bat an eyelid. Oh, now who's here? <sighs> what a day. What do you want, reject? <laughs> Nothing from you. I'm going to Ceylon. What is it with Ceylon all of a sudden? First Lewis sends off six of our finest, and now the bottom of the barrel wants to go too. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> I could stand here all day talking to you low breeds, or I could get on that train. But I don't have all day to spend. Oh, you think you're all that, huh? The tank thinks he's a threat, does he? Tell us what you think you're gonna do. Hey, look, just get out of here. None of us want you hanging around anyway, so just go.
There used to be a path here. I guess I'll have to make my own. <laughs> 